Now the moment I enter the last entry in this row that is joining date, let's say 0, 06 12th month and 2024, this entry will get sorted automatically. You can see here in the row 16. So when I right click on my sheet tab and then go to view tab, you can see here I have this not so lengthy VBA code. Now this VBA code basically triggers whenever you add a new data row to this data. And let me quickly explain to you how this code actually works. First of all, we have these a few variables which store data for us. And starting from here, the first line we have is on error resume next. So this line basically ignores any error that occurs temporarily so that the code will not stop running. Now in the next line, as you can see, we have defined the starting cell of the data. So in my case, the starting cell is A1. And that is why I have defined A1 here. And if in your case, the data is starting from somewhere else, you can specify that cell here. So this is the line that you need to change to make this code work for yourself. Now, the next is this small line that is called sort key. So this is a variable that stores this value. So now here, the value one means the column first. So if you want to sort your data based on department, or salary or joining date or whenever you have more columns you need to change this key from here for first column one for second column two so on and so forth now the next line counts the total number of columns that you have in the data so let's say if you have now the next line last column equals to main data range dot columns dot count counts the total number of columns that you have in the data because we need this count further in the code to testify if the entire entry is complete or not. And then we have this if statement that basically checks if the data that has been changed is within the data range or not. And within this if statement, we have a further loop that checks if the row, the the row where you're entering the data has complete data or not. So let's say, so as I was telling you that this line of code counts the total number of columns in the data, further this loop checks if the entry is complete by using the same count. So if you have five columns, it will go to each of the cell in the row five times, one by one, and checks if the entry is complete or not. And once the data in the row is complete for all the cells, this part of the code will sort the data. So this code is smart enough to identify if the entry is complete or not. And in the end, we have this line that says on error go to zero. That, that means it's just restoring the default settings for errors. That's it. And if you want to use this code, you need to make changes in these two lines. So the first is you need to change the reference cell for the data and then you need to change the sorting column, the column which you want to use for sorting. All right, so that's it for now. And make sure to get this code from the description and do not forget to subscribe to the channel because I'll be coming out with a lot of cool Excel VB and Power Query tips and tricks in coming weeks. And I'll see you in the next video.